everyone! Welcome back. Today is another Vlogmas episode where I'm going to be talking about something I found at the library recently and I just had to share with you. So first of all, I'm wearing my Sweet Sequels long sleeve t-shirt and all the books in this book stack are Christmassy. And let me just tell you, it's the softest material and it's so easy to wash and take care of that I just... I love it and it's great and I wear it all winter long, not just for Christmas. Anyways, I digress. So, the Jane Austen binge box. This I picked up at the library. I just saw it and was like, I need to borrow this. And there are six movies in this collection. Each of them are for one of Jane Austen's novels. So we have an adaptation of Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Emma, Mansell Park, Northanger Abbey, and Persuasion. So I went to Instagram and wanted to get people involved. So I gave out a poll for everyone in my stories and said, pick which one do you think is in this binge box. Gave them two options for each book. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna find out who is right. First off, let's start off with Pride and Prejudice. So we all know there are so many great adaptations of Pride and Prejudice. There's so many adaptations of Jane Austen movies, right? I even made a whole video about it. <laughs> there are so many. Let's see which version of Pride and Prejudice is in this. So I give people the option of either the 1995 Colin Firth edition of Pride and Prejudice or the 2005 Keira Knightley film. 77% of voters said they thought it was the 2005 Keira Knightley. 23% said they thought it was the Colin Firth. And let me tell you, the majority was correct. The Keira Knightley version, which is so, so good. Not only is this one of my favorite movies of all time, but the costumes are amazing. The cast is so talented. Everything about this movie is fantastic. Definitely check this out if you've never read the, never seen this or read this because it's so good. All right, moving on. We have Sense and Sensibility. Let's see what the voters said. The voters on Instagram, the 2008 version, I had 25% of the poll takers guess that version, and we had 75% guess the 1995 version, and the 75% was correct. The 1995 version has an amazing cast filled with so many stars. It is so good, and the music is just so heartfelt and we get to see Alan Rickman in a romantic role instead of as an evil villain which you wouldn't think would work but it totally works because he's amazingly talented. The whole cast is great and you just care about these characters and the story and it's so swept up in the storytelling experience. So definitely a fantastic movie to add to this binge box. So good. All right, moving on, Northanger Abbey. So this is the gothic novel spoof of Jane Austen's collection. And I believe this is one that she wrote when she was younger, but didn't get published until after her death, if I remember correctly. Two option, there's a 1980 movie. There's a 2007 with JGA Field and Felicity Jones. So let me take a look at my polls here. 15% guessed the 1980 version, 85% said the most recent version, and they are correct. J.J. Fields makes a great Tilney. We see Felicity Jones does a great job playing very innocent and naive main character who is very swept up in the dramatic daydreams of someone who is in love with all things gothic novels. So we get to see that played up really well in this story. And J.J. Field just plays a very charming Mr. Tilney that kind of brings her down to reality a little bit and helps clue her in so she can kind of be open to what's happening around her, be a little bit more realistic so she doesn't get taken advantage of by others throughout the story. So, all right. Moving on, Mansfield Park. So we have two versions of Mansfield Park here. We have the 1999 version, and then we have the 2007 version. 75% thought it was the 1999 version, and 2007 version, there were 25% of the voters thought that's what was in the box. So I have to tell you, again, the majority is correct. The older version, the 1999 version, is the one that is included in this film. There are some changes in this film that are not included in the original novel, but we do have a talented cast who are portrayed portraying the very wide range of dramatic or more sensible characters in this story. So definitely an entertaining story experience, if not slightly straying from the original novel. Let's go to Persuasion. This is the last of Jane Austen's novels and it's such a good story. 38% said the 1995 film. 62% said the 2007 film was most likely to be in the binge box, and the 62% was correct. This is the 2007 version. This has a great cast filled with lots of characters who definitely show the disparity between Anne's world and the very influential and self-absorbed 
family members of Anne and her immediate surroundings versus Wentworth's world. As anyone would have to do if they are starring in Persuasion, they have to have that long look nailed down pat because they're constantly gazing at each other from afar. This does not have the letter from the book, but it's still a decent movie. And that is what's in this binge box. All right, moving on. And finally, we couldn't leave out Emma. So Emma has a wide range of film adaptations that have been inspired either directly by this book or just loosely based off of this book. But we are going off of the strictly based off of this book film adaptations. The two that I gave for my Insta stories were the 1996 version with Gwyneth Paltrow and the 2020 version with Anna Taylor Joy. And what our voters said, let's see. We had 31% said they thought it was the 2020 version, and 69% thought it was the 1996 version with Gwen Paltrow. Again, the majority was correct. So for each of these, the majority, they know what they're talking about. They know. Thank you for anyone who voted on these Instagram stories, because it just was really fun to incorporate that into this video. So just talking real quick about the 1996 Emma. It is such a great story. Fabulous characters fabulous cast, so expressive and heartfelt, and it just makes you feel swept up in this story and these characters, and it's so enjoyable to watch. So, overall, how did my library do? I think they did a pretty good job. Let me know in the comments if there are any other film adaptations you think should have been in here instead. I have six DVDs, so I figured that was probably the easiest way for the library to include all of these in one box. I'd imagine if it was a mini-series, there'd been a lot more DVDs in this box. And I'm really fortunate that my library could let me borrow this for like a week and a half. So I'm really, really grateful that my library has resources like this. And definitely recommend going to your library, checking out what they have. And even if you're not wanting to go to the library because of quarantine and the pandemic, definitely check out their online and digital resources. Because if you don't have a library card, a lot of libraries are making that available to community members to go online and sign up for one and then have access to all sorts of free digital resources. So I am a huge advocate of the library and always will be and something to check out if you're interested. So thanks so much for watching this vlogmas talking about the Jane Austen binge box and I hope that you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have a great day.